Hi, and welcome back to Epic Restorations. For the past month, we've been making real progress on our 1930 Ford Model A. We've been taking a bottom-up approach to the car thus far, and have been working to get it mechanically sound and running before we tear it all down for our full restoration. We've got plans for our wheels and tires, gotten our replacement hydraulic brakes, and we've even rebuilt the carburetor. We've also spent considerable time on our steering. With much of our adjustments made and our steering tightened, we have one more obstacle in our path before we button up the front axle, the kingpins. Worn spindle bolts contribute to rough steering and shimmy, and no one wants to be driving down the road and experience the death wobble. So our kingpins definitely need to be replaced. The weekend's here, the parts are in, and we're ready to get cranking on it. Let's get to work. A few weeks back, we began work on the front axle. We pulled the kingpin assemblies for replacement. We had hoped to be able to keep them, but upon further inspection, they simply were too worn and had to be replaced. We cleaned up the spindles, and today, we're going to replace both kingpins and all the wearing parts for both the right and left side. We began with the bushings. We previously removed the old bushings using our press. Today, we're going to install some new ones by pressing them into place with our press, a socket extension, and flipping an 18 millimeter socket. Once the bushings were in place, we carefully wrapped the spindle in thick cloth and locked it into a vise. Using a kingpin reamer, we carefully began reaming the bushings. This reamer will help create reamed holes perfectly in line and will allow the kingpin to snugly slide into place with no extra play. This certainly isn't a quick process, so be patient with it and take your time. Mike, this uh, old one, 
Okay, and if we mic the new bearing, it's quite a bit narrower. So we're gonna put two shims with it, which is common for what I've read. And remike it, and it's just a little thicker than original, but I think that'll 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 work. I want to make sure we put the pressure on this bearing. So then we'll put it on the kingpin. And it goes in on the top of the spindle. So we just finished. Then we got to put our dust cup and felt. And she gets down there. Oh, I'm binding there, that's what it is. Okay, there we go, that's better. And then, of course, when we fit it on, the axle will go right in here and hold that cup down. And on these, we put in new Zerks. Okay, of course, we have our new axle pin, too, where we drilled, we drilled these out and used a eighth inch tap, pipe thread tap, so that we could put the new Zerks in, so it's a little easier, better for us to grease. Now it's ready to go on the car. <laughs>